Hi, I am Pixel Pia. Today we're going to continue talk about Redbubble, but we're also going to talk about Chat GPT, the text-based AI that I actually have used for inspiration for, for some of my creations on Redbubble. So let's move over to my computer. So here we are at chat.openai.com. And if this is your first time using ChatGPT, you have to sign up. I have an account, so I will just log in using my Google account. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ask ChatGPT, what is ChatGPT? And as you can see, it's gives me the answer right away. So let's see what it said. ChatGPT is a conversational language model developed by OpenAI. It uses advanced machine learning techniques to generate human-like text based on the input it receives. It is trained on a massive corpus of text data and can answer questions, generate creative writing, and converse with users in natural language. So you might wonder, how can I use this for my Redbubble store? And I have already asked ChatGPT how I can get ideas and inspiration for creating art for my print-on-demand store. And here we have GPT's suggestion. Ask ChatGPT for suggestion on trending themes and popular art styles in your niche. Use ChatGPT to generate creative prompts for your artwork. Have ChatGPT generate captions or descriptions for your artwork. This can help you come up with unique and appealing product descriptions for your store. Utilize ChatGPT's language generation capabilities to create unique taglines and slogans for your brand. And finally, use ChatGPT to perform keyword research and come up with potential search terms for your artwork. Okay, so let's test some of these and see if we can get inspired. I click on a new chat. So what I did was I started by asking what are the trends? And this is something very important. ChatGPT only have data up until 2021, so it couldn't give me an answer for the trends. So then I started to ask about ideas for artwork. For example, my question here was, give me some ideas for one line black and white drawings that would work well on a t-shirt print. And if this is not enough, you can always continue ask, what are some art styles that can look good on t-shirts? There is no definite answers, but some suggestions are pop art, graffiti, vintage or retro, abstract, cartoon or comic, typography, illustrations, nature or wildlife. And here we have a lot a lot of inspiration but if we're not inspired enough we can continue give me some su suggestions on motive that can work well as pop art so here we go chat gpt remembered what i wrote before and it just starts putting out suggestions that we can use. These were just a couple of examples. We will come back to ChatGPT a little later on in this video and see how we can refine things. But for now, let's take a look at my Redbubble store and art where I have used GPT. To help me. So here we are on my Redbubble store and we're going to take a look at one of my artworks that I used ChatGPT. This is an idea I had. If you didn't know, I am originally from Sweden 
and this artwork i had an idea about uh, that i would take swedish proverbs and translate them to english and in the center in the middle of this artwork you can see the ipa the international phonetic alphabet that is a way to write how words are pronounced so let's take a look at something i did here here you see this on a shirt i couldn't write the phonetics by heart so what i did let's go back to my chat gpt i know the sentence i want the saying i want to translate it so what i did was i said can you translate this and write the api from swedish to english and write the api of the swedish pronunciation and then i just put a semicolon and wrote det är alltid mörkast före gryningen it is always darkest before dawn and here we have the api so all i did was copy this into my graphic software in this case i think i was working in canva so i copied the text the swedish the api and the English translation and ended up with something like this. That is one way we can use chat GPT to create something for our Redbubble store. This is something very specific for me to be able to translate from one language to another and write the API, which I appreciate. Now, Let's see if ChatGPI can help me to describe this artwork. And of course, as you can see here, I have to go in and change some of these. Maybe I don't didn't use a sensory font or the maybe the material is different from what the t-shirt contains but it is pretty good rewrite this as a description of just the artwork maybe a much better description for the artwork itself if I'm not happy with this, I can say regenerate post. And now you can see to the left here, it's writing two out of two. And when you have something you are semi happy with, you can copy it and paste it in your Redbubble store where you then can go in and do changes. So it sounds more like you as a person. I can also ask ChatGPT write 15 keywords about this artwork and the reason i choose 15 is as i said in one of my older videos about redbubble 15 is the number of keywords that they recommend for you to use so here we have 15 let's write 15 more so i have to choose from out of this 30 i can now choose here we have the last 15 and by just clicking the little arrow up here i had the first 15. i hope this helped you to get inspired to develop your artwork using chat gpt your descriptions and your keywords if you have any questions or any specific topics you would like for me to continue talk about in this series, please leave a comment down below. 
And while you are there, why don't you hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified on when I upload. Until next time. Hey, Doa.